Ladies and gentlemen, here we go and welcome to the first pay view for this newest mode. And this is like what my fourth or fifth created newest mode. But for this one, I'm actually gonna finish this series. So, anyway, this is gonna be the first pay view for this specific 31. And also the first pay view for Raw, my ad. As we're gonna kick things off with a blockbuster tag team match, we got AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Untaker and Kane. Now, I'm not gonna explain. Well, at least I'm going to try not explain how this match came to be. As Kane immediately with Tombstone Power Driver to Styles, but Nakamura, he's going to take Kane away from pin Styles. Now Styles, he's back up on his feet. But now, anyway, I'm going to try not to explain the way that these matches came to be because I explained it in the whole Over the Limit pay-per-view talk earlier on today. But, so yeah, you guys could watch that before this. I have Pacific Order for a Pacific Over the Limit playlist once I upload all of them, so you guys can also check that out and stuff. So anyway, uh, you know, fine. I'll, I'll explain how this whole matchup came to be since I just want to do it so you guys have a sense of feeling of knowing of what's happening. And so, on the week 4 edition, aka the go-home show for Rob before this pay-per-view, we had AJ Styles taking on Kane, in which AJ Styles defeated Kane, but then after the match, Undertaker attacked AJ Styles with two tombstone power dryers onto the outside with a steel chair on the ground, in which Styles' head banged right onto the chair twice from those two tombstone power dryers. And then after that, Nakamura, he came out of nowhere, and he um, helped out. AJ Styles by attacking The Undertaker And so that's how this matchup came to be And then Eric Bischoff on the Raw Week 4 Fallout Announced this blockbuster Matchup and so this is how we have The matchup but now That was my regular persona I'm just gonna quickly Switch over to my heel persona For this content specifically I probably just broke kayfabe I don't care Kayfabe is already dead but yeah and so now, see, we got Nakamura and Kane. Okay, never mind. We got Undertaker and Nakamura. And now we got Styles and Undertaker. Okay, you know what? Here's the thing for these tag team war matches, though. We could just easily have any kind of combination. But now, of course, whichever um, team, full team, gets eliminated first, the other team wins. As uh, so you are the Undertaker. I mean, not Undertaker. Kane with the Tombstone Power Drowns and Nakamura from the side of your screen. If you saw the word special. For, for Kane, let's see right there, Shinsuke Nakamura, proving of how weak he is here on Raw. And, of, and he was on SmackDown and ECW, the fans will love him. But here on Raw, we care about the heels, and only the heels. And so Nakamura, he is now gone, and now he has left AJ Styles to rot. There was no use of making, there was no use of Nakamura even barring to help out AJ Styles. He should just let the Brass of Destruction do what they wanted to do with Styles, and that was most likely... Just end his career most likely with those two tombstone power drivers onto the chair by Undertaker. But now that's the Americas is a two on one handicap matchup now. And now Undertaker and Kane, they could actually aim for the person they actually want to aim for, which is AJ Styles. Since Nakmore just he couldn't last one tombstone power drive from Kane. All the hype for none. He gets all the hype, but then he cannot deliver. Same with AJ Styles in the Zoomers mode. He's gotten all the hype, and then in the normal contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship. With um um seven man to death thing I believe in which the Miz eliminated AJ Styles, which made the Miz become number one contender for Apocalypse and Colonel Championship. And of course, that's going to be the third matchup for later on tonight. But Styles and Nakamura, there are the hype for no reason. Nakamura was also in the matchup. He also failed and did not win. As they're there on Taylor double X hand from top rope. Can that be it, ladies and gentlemen? And that is surprisingly it. That was a quick matchup. Undertaker and Kane, they is completely and early bury the talent that is AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. But now, of course, once again, we care about the heels. What a pity. And SmackDown needs to they will open. They, they would have been cheered and kissed up to by the fans. Over here in Raw, all you guys are just brainwashed by the faces. You guys don't even care about the heels. I see this man, Christian, he's representing the Brood. And now, of course, we got the Brood taking on Hardy Boys later on tonight for the Raw Tag Team Championships. But now, that will be Edge and Gangrel. But we got Christian in this X Division title tournament. This is going to be the first matchup 
Whoever wins this one will advance as we got Sakurai's debut into this universe as well. My money's on Christian though. Once again, the fans, they will, they will just be cheering Sakurai throughout this whole um matchup. And then he's going to be all the hype. And then he's not going to deliver. Now, of course, the Sakurai does somehow somebody beats Christian in this matchup. Well, then I feel like the Brood, they need to do something about Christian because Christian... The reason to why the Brood have a downward spiral of momentum as of late began on the week 4 go-home edition of Raw. And so now that was not long ago. So the downward spiral just started. But it was Gangrel and Christian who um, they lost to the team of Fandango and Tyrese Breezango. In which Tyrese pinned um, Christian. It was not their own contenders match luckily. So the Brood they still have their own contender um Slot against the Hardy Boys, which is why they're facing off against them tonight. But Breeze Angle, they're one step closer to um, the Raw Tag Tiles. I believe the Breeze Angle are normal contenders after that, since they actually defeated the real normal contenders. But after this night, depending on which tag team wins, either the Hardy Boys or Breeze Angle, I mean, are either the Hardy Boys or the Brood, then Breeze Angle probably get a Raw Tag Tile shot, which to be fair, it makes me scared. It really does. Those two goofballs do not deserve to win the Raw Tag Tiles. Now, while I do respect the Hardy Boys, I do respect everything they've given to this company. I just got to put my money on the Brood. But if the Hardy Boys some way, somehow do defeat the Brood um, later on tonight, which I'm not going to be happy about, then I'm going for the Hardy Boys to just destroy Breeze Ango. As now we got Tyler, no, not Tyler Breeze, we got Zack Ryder um, taking down Christian from the ring apron now to the leg stream. Not gonna lie, it's a good job trying to wear down Christian, trying to wear down his leg. Um, he could try to get a count out victory with that, make it more difficult for Christian to get into the ring. Or he could also do a submission aiming after the leg, which does help out. Um, Sakurai's case in this match, but of course this is still early into the match. We're not sure how any of these men's um, home momentum is going to shift or change it, because it could change at any second. As here, there's Sakurai. He nails the frog splash, and there goes Christian off the ring post and off the ring apron. And Christian, he just landed face and chest first, right onto the outside. And Sakurai aiming after the leg again. Oh, man. Like I said, if Christian loses this matchup, the Brood, they're going to have to do something about him. Because at this point, Christian is looking like the weakest link. The Brood, they're not supposed to have weak links. They're, they really are not supposed to have the weak links. All three of them should be equal. Well, at least Edge and Christian should be equal. And Gangrel should be the whole complete leader. He controls the Brood. He controls what they do. He controls... He controls on how to. Oh, well, he just tells them what to do. As here, there, Christian, he's busted wide open. Now, Gangrel, he just tells Edge and Christian what to do. He's the leader of the brood. He could decide to just kick them out one day if they don't um, complete his needs. He could get new members. He could go solo, but we all know that Gangrel does love his henchmen. And his henchmen at this point are Edge and Christian, which they do create the brood. But now, um, if Christian is to lose this matchup, you got you to gotta think on what Gangrel is thinking. Because you know that he wants the brood to be holding every single gold over here on Raw. But imagine Gangrel as your WWE champion one day. Then that's when the complete destruction of the Raw roster comes. But then again, I will be happy because I do cheer for these three men. But now, of course, we could also have Christian as exhibition champion. Um, Edge and Christian as Raw Tag Team champions. Edge as um, Incarnate champion. And Gangrel as Dodi champion. Imagine in which Edge and Christian hold two titles. And then Gangrel holds the most important one, which is the WWE Championship. Imagine, we all know that Gangrel would think about that every day for his henchmen and for himself to just hold every gold here on Raw. And once the brand split, I mean, not the brand split because this is the brand split, but once the shakeup comes around, which is not announced yet, but it's not going to come anytime soon. That's here. There's Sack Ryder, the leaping DDT. And Christian, he loses this matchup. At this point, I'm not going to even 
boo Zack Ryder because I was impressed by his whole performance here. But the young man, let's see if he can keep that up. But uh, I don't doubt he's going to cut on ECW and SmackDown. He can't cut it here on Raw. He's not going to be talented enough once around. One victory is lucky enough. That was a fluke victory. But at this point, I'm more disappointed at Christian. Christian first gets pinned by Tyre Brace and now Zack Ryder. And at this point, I'm kind of scared for Christian. Because now he's going to have, most likely have some consequences from Gangrel. But we'll see how that goes in the week 5 edition of Raw. Anyway, that was part 1 of whatever of the Art and Preview. Next up is going to be part 2 in which where we kick things off in part 2 with the Incarno Championship match. As Apollo Crews defends his Incarno Championship against The Miz. And Asia and Zack Ryder advances further into the X Division um, title tournament. Part 2 of Art and Preview is next.